I'm a little envious of you to tell the truth, Major. You've always been able to go and escort Prince Oliver like it's the most natural thing in the world. Welcome back, my adoring public, to more Trails in the Sky the Third. Barrow Fiasco here. Last episode, we got our fifth party member. And then we've also got to look at the support. Dex and Agility up. We take a little... We take a hit to speed, though. Uh... Honestly, the benefits definitely far outweigh the, the drawbacks. So it's not it's not anything I'm super worried about. But more importantly. Okay, those are moon's ores. Here we go. And the star doors are what? The moon doors are really long scenes, the sun uh, the star doors are short scenes, and the sun doors are mini games, I believe. So Bring to me the guardian of the royal family and the blade that serves the imperial house. Only then shall the door open. Yeah, let's see what's inside. Oh, there's still a trial? Hmm. Star chamber. That's fine, they can definitely handle it. I shall grant to you a memory fragment and my blessing. I did not expect for Mueller and Julia roughly two months after the crisis that struck Liberal came to an end. Is this a memory that they're both part of? No, first up it's Captain Schwartz. That concludes my report on all that transpired here two months prior. I really cannot thank you enough for your above and beyond efforts, Captain. Bringing an end to the chaos and restoring hope to its people was no easy task. You should truly be proud of yourself. Your Majesty, please. I have done nothing to deserve such praise. I would beg to differ, and it's why I want to thank you on behalf of every one of Liberal's citizens. Not only did you ensure our safety, you went from place to place aiding in the restoration as well. Now you continue to be just as busy serving as the leader of the Royal Guard. You deserve all the thanks you get. I really am proud of you, Captain Schwartz. I am honored, Your Majesty. I believe I'll be able to formally present you with at least one medal for your achievements at a later date, too. <laughs> General Morgan seems to think a promotion is almost assured as well. I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds in store for you. But, Your Majesty, I must object. If she gets promoted, then she probably won't be able to be around Chloe as much. The only reason this crisis was resolved at all was because of the efforts of countless people, all of whom gave their all for Liberal's sake. My contribution was but a minor part of a much, much greater whole. I don't feel it would be appropriate for me to be receiving medals or promotions. Captain, I agree that countless people contributed to achieving the peace that we have now. Everyone who fought, who tried to protect their loved ones, and who endured the suffering they faced contributed in some way, or contributed in some way. But I believe it's clear to everyone that without the Arsail, the Crisis would not have seen the conclusion that it did. And the one who commanded the Arsail was you. But be that as it may, medals are one thing, but I couldn't possibly consider accepting a promotion. I feel as though I've barely spent all that much time in my current position, so assuming one without even greater responsibility would be... Um... <laughs> There's no need to be so modest. In my opinion, you've accomplished much more in your current position than you seem to believe you have. Actually... Captain, I'd like to propose that you take the rest of today off. How would you feel about that? May I ask why, Your Majesty? I'm not sure I quite understand. As I mentioned, I want to show my thanks to you for all you did, and I believe there to be better ways to do that than formal meetings like these. You certainly deserve some rest too, given how exhausting going back and forth between Military HQ and the castle practically every day must be. I've even been receiving requests from members of the Royal Guard saying that they would like for you to take a break as well. I'm terribly sorry that you had to listen to such complaints, Your Majesty. 
It was certainly not my intent that you should be troubled so. So who was it? Lux? Leon? It could easily be both knowing them. I'm used to them telling me as much every time they see me, but I cannot believe they chose to bother Her Majesty with the issue. As such, I would like for you to take the remainder of the day and use it to relax. That way, you can return to your duties tomorrow, feeling refreshed and ready for the work the good of this, uh, to work for the good of this nation anew. V very well. If that is your wish, Your Majesty. I, Captain Julia Schwartz of the Royal Guard, accept your proposal and shall take leave of my duties for the remainder of the day. Well, hey. A promotion. Ordinarily, receiving one would be a cause for celebration, but for me... Are they Lux and Leon? Good morning, Captain. Good morning, Captain. I hear you've been given the rest of the day off. Wow, news travels quickly! <laughs> That's right, yes. I'm amazed you already know that when I was just told myself. Okay, so they knew beforehand. It's not all that amazing, really. Leon was trying to make sure everyone knew over the communications network from Layston. I hear Echo appeal directly to Her Majesty, even. Who is Echo? D directly I can't believe it. He did look like he had something he wanted to say to me the last time I saw him. What is it with them? Uh, I still wish we could have helped with repairing the Arsail too, though. I hear the repairs are running a little behind schedule, too. I wonder how things are going over there. You needn't worry about the Arsail's repairs. The only reason those three are still he uh, there at least in Fortress is that they wouldn't take no for an answer and insisted on staying. The repairs are currently being carried under Gustav, the maintenance chief of ZCF. They'll be completed, uh, completed properly. Incidentally... Do you know if Her Highness left already? Yes, in fact. Claudia left- oh, that's a man's voice. Claudia left not that long ago if you're looking for her. Oh, Duke Dunon! She's gone to inspect the royal villa. Were you not aware of this? Your Grace, I was not. I would very much have liked to accompany her over there if I am truthful. Hmm, I suppose that comes as no surprise. You always have been one to put yourself forward to escort her at every opportunity. I can't say I understand why. Simple escort jobs are well below your current rank. I mean, I forget what, um, I forget what the gray-haired guy's uh, name behind him is, but she does the same thing for Claudia that he does for Dunon, so... I suppose so. Still, I'm sure she's well. She has a number of trustworthy guardsmen with her. Try not to fret over her too much. Of course, you're right. Thank you, Your Grace. And with that, we're leaving, Philip. There is work to be done. Ah, uh, just a moment, Your Grace. Please, try not to be too downhearted. What are you doing, Philip? I said that there is work to be done! My apologies. He's like... <laughs> he's like an overburdened father. <sighs> It looks as though I've missed Her Highness yet again. Still, we're both so busy with our duties that it's no wonder it keeps happening. It's incredible how much Duke Dunon's changed. Tell me about it. Apparently, he's often seen in the administrative room working genuinely hard lately. He was the one who proposed paying compensation out a while back, too. I always thought of him as a good-for-nothing slob, but maybe there's more to him than that. He's finally showing that he shares Her Majesty's blood after all. You're on duty! Enough idle chatter! My, My apologies, apologies, Captain. Captain. As you are seemingly aware, I will be absent from the castle for the remainder of the day. I expect the two of you to take care of things here in my absence. Yes, ma'am. Take care, ma'am. I wonder... Because the Tita scene was roughly an hour. Does short mean like maybe 15 or 30 minutes? I'd be completely okay with that. Being granted a day off is all well and good in theory. But I haven't had one in so long, I haven't the faintest idea what to do with it. 
Should I go shopping? Perhaps do maintenance work on my equipment? Or would I be best just returning to my room and reading a book? No, I need to do more than simply rest with my time. I need to use it productively. That's what a day off is, though. I know. Wouldn't it be nice to take a light stroll along the scenic route? I haven't done that in ages. It would be an excellent use of my time, even. Because there are monsters that she can fight while she's out there. Oh, what's all this, then? Is it really true that Julia has returned to Gransel? Oh, <laughs> so Julia, she's got an entourage of women? Where is she? Where is she? Please, don't push! Everyone, please, calm down! So, <laughs> what is it? Erica is just another one of her throng of female admirers? What exactly is going on here? Captain? Oh no, why did you have to come now? It's dangerous here! Please, retreat back inside the castle at once! It's Julia! What?! <laughs> it really is! <laughs> and the music! <laughs> what the devil is this? Julia! What? <laughs> Life on the line, dude. <laughs> Captain Schwartz, we've locked the castle gates for the time being. <laughs> you aren't hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. <laughs> the guy who got knocked into the ocean, is it? Or the lake or whatever. What just happened? Well, they appear to be some rather ardent fans of yours, Captain. You know, we did have a rather large number of fan letters arrive at the castle this morning. Honestly, like, out of all of the party members possible, she does, um, I guess the closest parallel that I can really draw is Mitsuru Kurijo. And she does kind of have that same sort of appeal, I guess. So it's, I guess it's understandable. I wonder if that could be related to all of this. Fan letters? Apparently some magazine company put together a special feature on you yesterday. I could have sworn they talked about that in second chapter. Like they wanted to do a magazine spread on Julia, but she said no. I. I don't think I'm- I- I think I'm remembering that correctly. I don't remember specifically when it was, but I do think that that was talked about at some point. It was full of information on what you were up to on that flying city. Oh, that reminds me! A few people who claimed to be from the Burl News came here while you were away. They said they were putting together a feature to capitalize on your popularity, so they wanted to gather material for it. I think I've heard enough. I can probably fill in the rest myself. Why am I getting this kind of attention? Fan letters? Magazine articles? Why am I being treated like someone special? I'm not. Not at all. First Her Majesty praising me more than I deserve, and now this. All I really wanted to do was protect Her Highness. That's all. That's what I want to do now, too. But the opportunity to actually go with her and escort her rarely seems to present itself anymore. Must I be forced to accept that this is how things will be going forward? Who are they? Oh, right. Thank you for your time today, Archbishop. I will conduct Mass again tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Could I ask you to pass that on to Her Majesty? Me thinks we're about to get another look at, uh, another look at Adios Nun, Julia. It would be my pleasure. 
Or she's gonna wear a maid outfit or something? Oh, if it isn't Julia. I wasn't expecting to find you here. Is something the matter? Oh, not at all. Any, uh, and good day to you, Archbishop. It's good to see you again, Julia. I haven't seen you for some time. You had me a little concerned. I'm terribly sorry for worrying you. I'd also like to apologize for not attending Mass at all of late. Oh no, it's no trouble. I'm well aware of how busy you are. All I'll ask of you in the busy times you face is this. No matter how busy you may become, you must never lose sight of yourself. What matters to you most is always close at hand. Thank you, Archbishop. I'll take what you have said to heart. <laughs> Excellent. Now if you'll excuse me, I should really be on my way. Good day, Archbishop. She really just wants to spend time with her little sister. Actually, there is one way I may be able to- Oh, Archbishop Current, please wait! So, this definitely isn't where she got the idea for the getup, because she did this with, uh, with Estelle and Joshua way before now, but I guess she's double dipping. Everyone, please move a little farther from the castle gates! Please, just a little more! If everyone could please remain calm. It's Julia! She's coming out! She's coming out! Nope. <laughs> huh? Ah, uh, it's just the Archbishop and his sister. Come now, everyone. Move aside and let us pass. Sister Ellen. <laughs> She's so worried! Cause she could be mobbed, dude. Whew. It looks like your plan ended up working, Julia. Fortunately, yes. I'm sorry for causing you trouble yet again. <laughs> Not to worry. You have my sympathies, even. Those seem to be some very fervent admirers back there. And here comes Mueller. Hmm? Is she gonna reveal who she is to him in this guise? Major Vander? It looks like she's going to try not to. <laughs> what is he doing here? I thought he had already left LeBurl! This is quite a surprise. I wasn't aware you were also a sister of the church, Captain Schwartz. Ah, can't get one over on him. You can tell? I, I, um, well, so <laughs> there's like, I don't know very much about how all of that religious sort of stuff works, but me thinks I could not just pretend to be a father of the church and have it be super extra cool and not cause any problems. <laughs> but apparently you can just get away with that in this. Actually, wait. Can men? I don't, I don't think men can be nuns. I'm gonna have to look that up. I couldn't be a... Would I have to be a father? Could I be a brother? Oh well. I should be back in Erebonia, but I still have a little cleaning up after that fool to do. And are there mothers? Could I be a mother? So I ended up having to come back here again in the end. I would have liked to take the time to go and greet you, but the chance ultimately never presented itself. Nevertheless, I'm pleased we were able to meet again, Captain. Or is it Sister Julia now? He's <laughs> he's really gonna hold this over on her, isn't she? Or isn't he? Major! Si she's Sister Julia now? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> It appears to me that there is little point in trying to disguise your identity from this man. Perhaps you need needn't bother? Regardless, I have preparations to make for this afternoon's mass, so I should excuse myself. Good day to you both. Archbishop, he just abandoned her to the situation! So that was the famous Archbishop current, was it? Let's pretend he's not standing there. Perhaps I should have taken that chance to introduce myself properly to him. Um, Major? 
I should probably explain how I ended up in this situation. You see, um... Aw, I wish I could have stayed a while longer, but I've really got to get going. I wish I could have gotten a close look at Julia, though. I thought this was finally going to be my chance. Ah, she's so dreamy. <laughs> Here come some of her fans. Ah, they're starting to make their way back. If they find me here, I'm doomed. Should you like, Captain, I would be happy to help you disguise yourself. Pardon? I can't pretend to be familiar with your situation, but I can see you aren't comfortable with being discovered here. In these situations, your instinct may be to hide, but I, leave, uh, but I believe the best thing to do is the exact opposite. Oh! And Major Vanta would have plenty of experience with trying to hide in plain sight, wouldn't he? With wrangling Olivier all the time. If, if, if it works for you, I'd be happy to accompany you somewhere a little safer. Oh my! Thank you! Ah, uh, Julia! <laughs> Please do! Right away! My pleasure. Be able to walk right past them without being discovered. Uh-oh. Hmm? She thinks there's something a little fishy going on. Never mind. I suppose it was just my imagination. It must have been. But yeah. Oh, okay. Hanging out right here. Well, this area seems to be empty. Will this be far enough, do you think? It should be. Some... Okay. Whew. Like, up until this point, I never realized how much I wanted to actually see an interaction between these two. Like, imagining them to be... Like, hopefully they become best friends or something. I can't apologize enough for this, Major. No, think nothing of it. Yeah, he is super used to this. I'm used to having to run around without being discovered. Usually because Olivier's caused some kind of predicament. <laughs> I can see that. I'm still ashamed of what happened, though. I let a simple commotion like that ruin my plans to go outside the city for my day off. I wasn't able to calm the situation at all. I wouldn't even have been able to leave the castle without resorting to a disguise. I mean... <laughs> It's not her fault that she's super popular, though. She just is like that. I'm not sure you've any reason to be blaming yourself here, Captain. I'm afraid I must disagree. As a member of the Royal Guard, I am utterly useless, and this isn't the first time that I've felt that way. During the coup d'etat, I was powerless. I should have been able to protect Her Highness, and yet she ended up being captured and placed in danger. The same was true when Gransel was attacked by Ouroboros, too. Not only could I not protect her, or protect her majesty from being endangered by them, I wasn't even able to be anywhere near her. I, of all people, should have been right by her side in her hour of need. How dare I learn of what happened only after the fact? I'm not fit to even serve them. I... I... Well, I can certainly understand your frustrations. They were both safe, were they not? Surely that is what counts above all. Much as we may wish, uh, much as we may, uh, much as we may wish to be, no human is omnipotent. Neither of us are any exception to that. I understand that, or at least I want to believe that I do. But to make matters worse, I now find that there are mag, uh, I now find out there are magazine articles about me, making me out to be some kind of great hero. There's even talk of me being promoted. I don't even feel like I've done my job in a way that's worthy of praise, never mind anything to deserve being given a higher position. No, none of that is what bothers me most. If people want to give me greater praise than I deserve, let them. And receiving a promotion isn't in itself a cause to be unhappy. More the opposite, on paper at least. I really think that the base issue is that she won't be able to spend as much time around Chloe. 
but in reality, it will result in me becoming busier because of my new duties, which will result in me ending up even further away from Her Highness than I am now. Mm. I'm a little envious of you to tell the truth, Major. You've always been able to go and escort Prince Oliver like it's the most natural thing in the world. Maybe you weren't always by his side, but you were when he needed you the most. You did more than escort him, too. You were able to help and aid him in ways beyond the call of duty. By comparison, I can't seem to be able to help Her Highness at all. I can't even lend her an ear when she is plagued with worry. When she was agonizing over whether to assume her position as Crown Princess, I couldn't do a single thing for her. I feel somewhat reluctant to give my opinion here, as I can hardly pretend to be well versed in your situation. But from where I stand, your position seems to be the more fortunate one. How so? What exactly do you mean, Major? I didn't mean to offend you, so I apologize if I did. But protecting that fool is a task that I was th uh, that was thrust upon me the moment I was born. Huh. Between us, I find myself envious of your natural loyalty to the ones you serve. Honestly, I... <clears throat> I guess... <clears throat> I always figured that deep down Major Vander really actually enjoyed being around Olivier. Maybe on some level. Like if the position were taken from him, he'd want it back. At least that's what I think. The moment you were born? Oh, right. You're a Vander. And we're a military family who traditionally serves the Imperial family, yes. My luck for anything less than a hectic life ran out the second I was given it, I fear. <laughs> that's certainly a great responsibility to be destined to fulfill. Especially when you're chosen to protect Prince Oliver, of all people. Quite so. <laughs> Just saying his name, dude! <laughs> Still, my point stands. I do believe that it's a happy, fortunate thing to be able to serve and devote yourself to those you genuinely care for. I may hardly be an expert on the subject, seeing as Her Highness is much less of a handful. But am I wrong? No, I see your point. Perhaps I should see being able to sit and worry about something like this as a luxury. Although whether someone who isn't able to defend her, her highness can really be called a member of the Royal Guard is another issue entirely. Whew! Captain, if you'd like, I'll be happy to teach you a good way to clear your head. To clear my head, you say? Indeed. Still, I would like you to keep this off the record. Is he about to... What's he about to teach her? Ah, some fighting. This will be a one round duel. Both arts and items may be used. So this was what you had in mind. I can't say I feel especially confident about my chances of defeating a warrior of the famed Vander family, but I'll certainly try. Huh, <laughs> there's no need to be so modest. Well, Captain, let us begin. And this is an actual fight. Oh. Check this out. Oh, she is way stronger here. She's only got Tira Bombs. Uh, sure, let's do Lost Mobius. He'll probably move up and try to get her. My soul and sword are as one. Wow. Opening with his S-Craft, dude. That's ballsy. Also, kind of ridiculously strong. Hmm. I think we're going to wait, though. Hound Gale. Oh, wow. Crap, dude. 
<sighs> I knew you would be formidable, but not quite like this. Captain, may I ask something? Okay, so we're gonna have to get him before he gets us then. What did you lose by being defeated? Huh? I'm not sure I understand. The easiest way to determine the true worth of something is to imagine how things would be if you were to lose it. When you do that, you start to see things for how they really are beyond simple logic. Imagine you were to vanish from the world, and yet you still possess the ability to think. Would there be anything left lingering on your mind? Anything that worried you? Something that you wished you could do? If so, that is what you should do most. Those are excellent questions, Major. <sighs> your Highness, I think I finally know what to do. I cannot thank you enough. Is she going, going to accept the pro uh, promotion? All it took was getting demolished by Major Vander to figure that out. Thanks to you, I can finally see the path I ought to take. I'll be sure to take all you've taught me today to heart. <laughs> Just don't assume I... Ooh. Just don't assume I thought of any of what I've said or done today myself. I often would cross swords with my uncle to clear away frustrations from having to deal with my own insufferable charge. Uh, with my own insufferable charge. Uh, well... So, around this time, Zex would be teaching Gaius how to use a spear. Well, it's probably about time I thought about returning to Erebonia. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm feeling a hint of concern for his well-being. Yeah, deep down, we know Major Vander cares about Oliver. <laughs> Only a hint? Please give my regards to the prince when you see him then. I shall. And give mine to Princess Claudia as well. Is... Is that it? Or are we going to see? It was at that moment that I made a decision in my heart. I would do all I could to support Her Highness, this nation's future queen. But to that end, I also resolved to accept whatever promotions I received. No doubt the further I moved up the ranks, the more my chances to actually meet with her would decrease. But even if we can't meet in person, even if I have to do it from afar, I want to be able to support her. Perhaps this decision is a selfish one, but I do hope you can forgive me for making it, Your Highness. Hmm. So that's what she's resolved to do, then. I feel somewhat reluctant to disturb Her Majesty while she's busy working, but... Is that you, Julia? Oh, I'm assuming this is Chloe. Yep. And, oh, Sieg is there, too. Huh? Right? Your Highness? Sieg? How come you're back here already? Oh, did you think I was still over at the villa? <laughs> I expected to be, too, but there weren't many people there today, so I was able to leave earlier than expected. Ah, I see. I'm just as surprised to see you here, actually. I thought you'd been given the day off today. Oh, you knew? Everybody knew, dude. <laughs> Indeed, I had. I ended up running into a friend I don't have many opportunities to spend time with. The time we spent together simply flew by. I owe my deepest thanks to Her Majesty for giving me the opportunity. I'm happy to hear that. Um, Julia, I realize this may feel a little out of nowhere, but I wanted to thank you for always supporting me. Goodness, that is out of nowhere. But it's something I should have done ages ago. I can't believe it's taken me this long to state the obvious. Everything my parents would otherwise have taught me, you ended up doing in their place. How to fight, how to act, how to think. It's like I'm only now starting to realize just how much of what makes me myself are things I learned from you. I feel like I've grown up always seeing you as a role model. I remember Grandmother laughing at me one point about how similar I am to you, too. Even in the little things, like how I walk and move, she says I'm just like you. <laughs> Julia? Is something the matter? No. All this time, I really have been right by her side. I've spent all this time worrying because I couldn't see her by mine, 
but as far as she was concerned, I was always there. I truly am beyond help. Um... Chloe, may I say something? I don't believe I'll be able to wait upon you as I always have any longer. But even now, I wish to do all I can to protect and support you. I wish to continue being your retainer, your friend, and your sister as well. So, please try not to overexert yourself during my absence. And even if I'm not able to be near you all the time, I still want you to know that you can always call upon me if you need me. Yeah. <laughs> of course I will. Although I can't promise I won't find myself unintentionally taking advantage of your kindness when I do. I'm always happy to have you depend on, or have you to depend on. And I'll always be glad you feel that way. Golden, dude. Oh, this is new. An outside dining parlor. Well, it's just a bit of seating, but it's still cool. Oh. That afternoon, they were able to enjoy a few relaxing cups of tea together. Despite her initial resistance, Julia's day off proved to be much more enjoyable than she had expected. And it seemed inevitable that the fragrance of the tea that she drank that day would remain in her memories forever. Dang. Side story, Julia's day off finished. Obtained Septium Vein. Received 3,000 Mira. That was cool. Oh, they're not going to comment on it? Okay. Uh, part of me wants to redo that just so we can win the fight against Vander. I do intend on doing that, but it's not going to be right now. Yeah, the... Okay, the Grand Kaisers are out in full force now. But we can't take a look at anything else until we've got Sherazard and, um, and Estelle in the party. So for right now, we're going to go to the Calvert Embassy. Which is... That's the Erebonia one. So the Calvert one should be right here. Nope. Oh, crap. They got us with a surprise attack. Okay, and I wasn't certain until I like was hearing his battle grunts, but I'm fairly certain that Mueller is Travis Willingham. Oh. This one is locked? That's a bit of a rip. Oh, crap. Yet another surprise attack. Okay. If we don't lose here, I'm honestly just gonna call it a part here, guys. So, definitely, we'll pick things up next time. But join me then for more Trails in the Sky, second chapter. Bye for now.